Why are you guys saying add six? <coughs> Do you guys notice that I could give you a definition here, one definition of what's called bin width. The bin width is actually the difference between adjacent lower bin limits. What does adjacent mean in math? Yes, it means next to. In other words, these two students are what? Adjacent to one another. These two students are not adjacent. These two students are adjacent to one another. Okay? So, giving you a definition of bin width. Definition of bin width, I'm going to tell you is this. It is the difference between... Adjacent lower bin limits, or if you prefer, upper bin limits. If you notice, in this example, the bin width, well, let's see, adjacent, hmm, next to. <coughs> What's the difference between 6 and, and 0? 6, 12 and 6, 6, 18 and 12, 6, 24 and 18, 6, 11 and 5, 17 and 11, 23 and 17, 29 and 23. We'll do this all day long. So the bin width here is going to be 6. Okay, you guys okay with that? Now, why you may care about this is this way. If the moment you first located the first midpoint value of 2.5, because the bin width is 6, the difference between these two values is 6 and these two, I can simply start adding what to each 6? 2.5 plus 6 is 8.5, 14.5, 20.5, 26 Now, I have given students in the past, a test where I have a blank table that kind of looks like this, and they have to fill in the information. You'll see why a little later, but how long do you think that should take you to do? Huh? Should you think about it for 20 minutes? What do you think? How long would that take you? I would say, should I dare say? Probably no more than a minute. Is that right? Why do I say that? Why would I say that, that would take, this should take you no more than a minute? OK, you're slow. You're barely waking up two minutes. Why would I say this? Because these bin limit values are simply copying what? These values. And then to get the midpoint, you add them and divide by two. Once you got that first one, Use the bin width to deduce the others. Or add the two values, divide by two. Add the two values, divide by two. This is a long way. So I say it should take a few minutes only because it's, that's what it's designed for. Okay, just to test you on the, what those definitions, how to use those definitions. Not, we're not going to have a vocabulary test. In other words, don't put these definitions on a, on a, on a what, flash card. Put the word and the other side, put the meaning and try to memorize them all day? No. You're going to have to use them, not what? Not, not regurgitate definitions. You know what regurgitate means? Yes. <laughs> we, I guess we won't get into that this early in the morning, OK? We got some more definitions. Anybody have any questions on this point? We're going to now talk about um, something known as boundary values. Boundary values. <coughs> now, I'm going to describe this to you this way. Boundary values, I'm going I'm to say is this. These are the points that are midway between adjacent bins. 
midway between adjacent bins. Okay? So let me draw a picture here for you. Maybe it's better to draw the picture over here. Let's draw this picture for you. Now when you think of bin again, what do you guys think of? Some container that holds values, is that right? So how many bins do we have here? Do you guys know? How many bins? Five, okay. Thank you. Uh, what values does that first bin hold? Zero to what? To five, okay. The next bin? Six to 11, and then? 12 to? 17, and then? And then 24 to? 29. You guys with me on that? This is your first bin, this is your second bin, third, fourth, and fifth, and so on. So, if I say adjacent bins, like we have in this definition, what does that mean? Adjacent bins. Bins that are next to each other. You guys okay with that? You guys, is that simple? Are you sure? These bins are next to each other. These two are next to each other. They're adjacent. Adjacent, adjacent. So when I'm saying that boundary values are the points that are midway between adjacent bins, what I mean is what number is midway between those two values? The, the, the upper bin limit of the first bin and the lower bin limit of the second bin. What number is between 5 and 6? Good. So you're going to say 5.5. .5, is that right? You guys okay with that? 5.5 5 .5 is a boundary value. What number is between 11 and 12? Maybe it's better if we write it like this, right? 11.5 better, right? <coughs> so you guys can see it. What's midway between 17 and 18? 17.5. 23 and 24? 24.5. Is that right? What are these values called again? What are these called? These are boundary values. Is that true? Boundary values. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. Didn't we say sometimes there's mistakes? You want to know what I teach my daughter? I try to teach her at all times that it's OK to make a what? Mistake, so long as you learn from it. OK, so made a mistake. No big deal. Um, OK, definition here. I'm going to define for you two other things. Maybe see if I can fit them here. Definition of what's known as the lower boundary value. And the definition of what I'm going to call the upper boundary value. Okay? Lower boundary value. The lower boundary value is going to be this. It's a boundary value that is smaller. Then every value of the adjacent bin. I'll describe to you what that means. 